When I was looking at the uh, Utagawa Kuniyoshi piece, um, Haru no Kotobuki, I was really excited because in art history, sort of in general, we don't really get an opportunity to look at non-Western works of art. But it, that was also the challenge because we don't have this background of knowledge about those sort of representations. And it's also from a different culture and a different time period. So sort of the multidisciplinary um, approach to the research I did and then even in um, sort of looking at the work is um, I looked at a lot of the historical and the social context of what was going on in the Edo period of the time. And I think that was a really fruitful experience for me because I got to learn a lot of things about theater and modern Japanese society that I wouldn't have gotten to learn had I not really looked at that work. And I think just for the purpose of sort of bringing people into art that wouldn't really normally be that interested, I think there's sort of, like just looking back at my high school education and all of that, I think there's a lot of interest um, with high school students and with junior high students in sort of looking at the histories of other cultures and not just focusing on Canada, even though that's a very um, important part of sort of educating ourselves about the social situation in our country. We can also look at what's going on or what led up to certain things in other countries as well.